Hi crafty friends, it's Sylvia. How's everyone doing today? Uh, today we're going to do a quick unboxing from Diamond Art Club. And this one is called Back to Wonderland by Inez Guerrero. Okay. I love this artist, guys. All right, so it comes in this beautiful box. When you see it all round here, it means it's round diamonds and it's pink. Okay, uh, very shiny box. In the back, it always tells you what's inside the box. It has step-by-step -step instructions. All right, so let's open this baby up. Okay, let's see. So it should come with two stickers and the canvas if I can get it out. There it is. The toolkit. All right. And let's put the box over there. All right. So let's open up the toolkit. What's inside the toolkit? Let's see. It's usually, it should be the usual. But it's always it's always like a little surprise because you don't know what washi tape you're gonna get and or the cover minder. Okay, so it comes with a nice purple pen, and it comes with the power grip matches the pen, which is cool. And then it has uh, resealable bags just in case you don't have the containers and you can put your beads in here if you're traveling. Um, and then it's got a heart container. This is where the wax is. And let's check out the uh, washi table. Look how pretty that is, guys. It's yellow, but it's got like gold bows and some flowers. That's very pretty. And wow, look at this. Look at the little flower. How pretty that is and shiny and a beautiful yellow color. It goes with the washi. And of course, it also goes with the tray. Look at that. Okay, I love this tray. And it comes with two placers also. All right, so let's move all these delicious goodies to the side. Okay, let's put, and this is the sticker that if you want, you could put it either on your logbook or you could put it underneath the box. So if you have the boxes piled one on top of the other, all you have to, you can see what uh, painting is in the box. So you look at the picture. Okay, the canvas always comes in a plastic bag to protect it, I guess, when it's traveling, trying to get to your house. Okay, and pull out the drills, and there should be a big sticker in here. Let's put the plastic away. I do not throw away the, pl the plastic, I keep it. All right, here's the big sticker. Here's the beautiful picture of the painting. So it says, Back to Wonderland by Ines Guerrero. Here you write down the start date and the end date, and this goes on your logbook. Okay, and then it has uh, pre-cut stickers, and you put and you place these on your container, on your containers. All right, and it always has a thank you pamphlet, thank you for your purchase, what's in the kit, tips and tricks, and so on, and step-by-step -step instructions. All right, and here the the drills always come in a nice bag. It tells you the name of the painting, which is nice because I separate the canvas from the drills and I put all the drills in a basket. And so I don't have to go crazy trying to find out what uh, painting goes with this drill. Okay. All right, let me just, oh wow, this is perfect size, guys. Perfect size. This is the size that I always like, the medium size. <laughs> okay, uh, let me just trying to flatten it here okay but before we continue i forgot to mention that the canvas is always super buttery soft okay and is designed to prevent wrinkles and fraying and it's made from heavy duty waterproof tarpaulin fabric i think that's what it's pronounced for extra strength okay so let us look at this beautiful painting all right at the bottom it always has the picture of the painting uh, DAC, which is Diamond Art Club, the name of the painting, Back to Wonderland, well, Back to Wonderland, and tells you it's 22 inches by 26 inches, and it's uh, 56 centimeters by 66 centimeters, and the name of the artist, Ines Guerrero, Diamond Art Club, 
And then over here, uh, browse hundreds of unique designs on Diamond Art Club. You take 10. If you, if you use the code TAKE10, you get 10% off your next order. And then over here, it tells you it's a lifetime warranty. Let me move it over here so you can see that better. Your canvas comes with lifetime warranty and a free missing diamonds protection from Diamond Art Club, which is excellent. And it has two legends. It always has a legend on the top hand side, on the left hand side. And on the bottom, it's always on the right hand side. Okay. So let's look at, and then always, let me, let me not forget, and then always on the top in the middle, it tells you do what makes you sparkle by Diamond Art Club. All right. And then let's look at the legend. So on the legend, it basically tells you how many colors it has. So it's got 47 colors. It tells you the symbols. So these are the symbols that you're going to find on the painting. And the color code is the DMC uh, numbers. Okay. So. Let's look at her, guys. First of all, let me tell you a little bit about Ines Guerrero. Ines was born in Venezuela, uh, but she lives in Chile. And her influences are fairies, mythological, and magical beings. And she loves history also. Her favorite period is the Renaissance and the Victorian age, okay? Uh, and the other paintings that she has, she has plenty of, a lot of paintings uh, from Diamond Art Club. Um, she has Artemisa and the Lady of the Lake and so on. Um, anyway, okay, so let's look. Look at how beautiful. It's uh, obviously, it's called um, Alice in Wonderland. So if you look around, it has lots of things that have to do with Alice in Wonderland. I'm going to look at this because it helps me better. To, uh, so over here you have the tea, the teacup, I mean the teapot. And then over here it says we we all mad here remember the mad hatter and you got the playing card and you notice that alice it looks like she's got bunny ears okay so let me tell you a little bit about alice the, the story alice is basically this little girl who falls asleep and she dreams that she follows a, a white rabbit down a rabbit hole uh, she has many wonderful and very strange bizarre dreams and the thing about it is that uh, in her dream, she meets animals and all these animals have uh, like human characteristics. And I'm looking at this painting and you notice that she's got bunny ears. So, yeah. So it's like in the dream, she's dreaming that the animals sort of look like humans, but here she has bunny ears. So it's like the opposite. Anyway, it's like... It's every, you see a lot of lots of uh, symbols here from from the story. Um, let's see what else we see here. Okay, we see a golden key, and then it says here, "Drink me and eat me." So I eat me, and I think drink me. Where's drink me? I just saw it. Uh, should be over here in the tag, which I can't see it here, but. Anyway, and then she's got flowers, and it's like chaos. And, she, and if you look at if you look at Alice, she's in turmoil. She's crying, and so she's going through whatever she's dreaming. She's not she's not happy. She's not having happy dreams. It's sort of nightmares, maybe. Um, but but if you look at all this, right? It's like a, it's chaos, obviously, right? And she's sad, but there's a cope. This is what attracted me to this this painting is that look at the, look at the, the the butterflies. To me, that's like in the in the big rose. Well, I think it's a rose, but it's got maybe some blood on it. But let's forget about the blood. But look at the rose, the the uh, the butterflies. To me, that's like hope, and maybe the golden key um, is basically saying, hey, you know what, Alice? Maybe if you use that golden key, it will take you to better places. Okay. That's my, that's the way I see it. I don't know. Everybody sees it differently. Okay, so let's see how sticky this is. It's super sticky, guys. It's super shiny. Very, very clear. Let me bring it up so you can see her. Okay, look at her bunny ears. I don't know if you can see that, but it's super clear. Let's look at her. Her hair is beautiful. She's got beautiful hair. She's got a uh, long wavy hair. Look at that face. Okay, and let's look at the butterflies. Of course, and as everybody knows, is that I love, love flowers and butterflies. 
So, okay. Uh, let's look at the drills now, guys. So we said there's 47 and there's, I believe, two ABs. So not too many ABs, but that's okay. Doesn't mean that we can't add uh, some more brilliance to it. All right, so let me just move this away and I am gonna take out the ABs, I mean, the ABs, the drills, and I'll be back. Okay, let's begin. So 161, very pretty blue. Okay, I think you can see that there. And then 225, it's like a light, light pink. All right, let's do the 300s. This is a 300, which is a brown. And now 310, we have, I believe, five. Five bags of 310, which I don't mind because I actually like 310. Some people don't. Okay. 311, it's a very pretty blue. And then 312 is another blue. 317 is like a very pretty gray. 322, a blue. 336, another blue. And 355 is like a, like a reddish brown. Okay, the 400s. So 400 is like a brown. 407. 413 is like a very dark gray, but very pretty. Four, oops, 414. It looks like these are all grays. Oops. So 415, see? But just, it looks like it's, it gets, it gets lighter. And then this is 451. 452, very light, 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 light purples. And four and and 498 is like a reddish, pinkish color. Oh my gosh, I tell you guys, it's one of those days. Yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry. Okay, it'll be okay. All right, so and then the 500s, it's only one, 597, which is a very, very pretty blue. 610 is a green. And then 611, another green. And 648, a very, very light gray. Okay, and then the 800s. 803 is a blue. 814, very pretty, like purplish color. 838 is a brown, like a chocolate brown. Can you see that? Yeah. 839, that's another brown. I think these are all browns in the brown family, sort of brown gray. This is 841, 842, this is like a tan. 869, and 898, another darker brown. Okay, so we're gonna move all these aside. So far we have lots of grays and lots of browns and blues and a couple of red. All right, let's push those over there. Let's do the 900s. Not too many of these. Okay, so 926, very pretty. It's like a blue-gray. That's very pretty, I like that. Uh, 938, it's like a chocolate brown. And 939 is like a navy blue. This one is 3024, a very light gray. 3371, it looks like it's a blue. There's two of these. And then this one is 3721, it's very pretty. 3768, it's like a blue. 3772, it's like a brown. 3774, it's like a light, light beige. 3781, I it's like a gray brown, a gray brown. And 3790, another light, like a light gray brown. <laughs> Okay, these are the last ones, 3857, 3858, it's just slightly lighter than this one, 3861, like a purple, light, light, light purple, and 3864, it's like a tan. All right, those are all the colors, guys. So, push them aside, and now let's look at the AB, there's only two ABs, which is 117, it's a very, very light, like like an off white, and then one thirty nine is a pretty gray. All right, so let's see where they belong. All right, so 
The first one is 117, the first AB, and it looks like it's number, a symbol number one. So wherever you see symbol number one, and I, it looks like it's everywhere, guys. See, if you look over here, it's on her ears, her bunny ears. Uh, it's some on her hair. And then it's like a sprinkled. Uh, some here, lots on her hair. Oops, let's put that over there. We don't want that to screw. Uh, any down here? Nope. Well, some down here. It looks on her, uh, actually her, her dress. She's got a beautiful dress. I just noticed that. The ruffle on her sleeve. That's very pretty. Looks like a Renaissance dress, which I love. Okay, and then this one is number two, 139. And that's the symbol is two on the, on the painting. Okay, you have, uh, do we have some in our eyes? Nope. Um, okay, so it's like a gray number two, 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 two. Where are you? Uh huh. Let's see. Okay, I see some here around the card, the plain card. You see some on the butterfly. Um, you see some on her dress. Um, any down here? Number two, 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 where are you? Any down here on her arms? Nope. So that's what it looks like. It's not, if, if you look at it, it's really not a lot. So number two. That's it, guys. Yeah. Hey, oh, you have some. It looks like it's on her butterfly and on her dress and some on her hair. So that's it. Now, if you would add ABs, where would you add them, guys? Or even sparklers. So... Let me know in the comments where you where we if you would add more bling where would you add them so that's about it guys so have a wonderful wonderful rest of the of the day bye bye thank you